Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this leave-in conditioner in also with this. Beauty supply store, rubber bands, beauty supply store, and the hair from the beauty supply store. So again, um, we're going to be doing the Ultra Expression Pre-Twisted. Bohemian Pre-Twist, what's up? I don't have any more toys for you, you ate them all. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna use this gel to do my parts, rubber tie them. All right, let's get into the tutorial. I know it's gonna be hard for y'all to see my hair, so 
I'm gonna start installing my Bohemian twist now and then I'll come back when I'm almost done just as short simple and sweet to the point as I can so remember to like share and subscribe to your girl and let's go ahead and finish right here because girl I'm tired uh, all right y'all so this is two packs so far of the hair the hair is super long this is 30 inches so like I said the longer the hair the less strands of crochet uh bohemian twist you get but three packs i feel like will should be enough i started the front side so i can give you guys a good view i'm just gonna pin up my hair i know it's been a long time since so i posted well not really that long but i feel like it's been how i have you guys been please comment down below i love talking to you guys i love your comments i love helping you guys out um i know somebody suggested which I appreciate you, boo boo. I will definitely get that um, quick weave, an updated quick weave tutorial out. So I'm gonna do that for sure. But I already knew like the day that you asked me, I literally bought this. So I was like, dang, I just got back from the beauty supply store and I literally had bundles in my hand, but I was like, no, it's summertime. I need to do some twists, but it's okay. So the next tutorial I'm gonna do is an updated quick weave tutorial. But for right now, we're going to do this. So as you guys can see, like I said from the beginning, this is a crochet bohemian twist. So I don't have a crochet needle, but that's not an issue. So I just took out the part with the rubber band. I'm gonna work my hair again. I already have gel on this, so I don't really need that much gel anymore, but make sure you don't have any other parting inside or combined with the part that you're working with. I'm going to take a back of the band and I'm just going to tie my hair. Not all the way yet, but almost as close to the loop. And then I'm going to take the twist. There's a crochet loop in it, and I'm going to just crochet it with my fingers right behind the rubber band. Alright, and once you have that, Right behind the little band on my roots, I'm going to take the loop, I'm going to open it just a little bit, and I'm going to unlock it onto my roots, and then I'm going to take the two strands of the part and I'm going to stretch it back, pull it, so then the rubber band and the crochet you braid and the crochet twists are interlocked together so it's now tight on our hair and i'm going to take out a little bit of my edges because some of my edges just go in there but i can also take that out afterwards okay now that's done i'm going to split my hair into two and there are bigger sections that have more hair than others so that's okay it all blends in believe me and i'm just going to break them down you can either twist you can twist or you can braid it down, but for my liking right now, I am braiding them down. I usually twist them, but I think right now, for the longevity of how much I want to have these in for a while, um, I'm just going to braid them. And they don't look any different than the twist, honestly. So don't think that's an issue. It's really not. People do this with any other type of twist or, um, you know, those butterfly locks. Or anything like that and then if I have it in I just open a loop of the twist and I just I keep twisting it onto the lock until it completely disappears and then I go in with my lot of body sitting lotion and I I'm, I mean I drench it with this and then every time I do another twist I drench it even more now, if you think your hair is coming out a little bit too much on the ends, go ahead and take a black rubber band and go ahead and just twist and tie it onto your twist. It's not going to make a big difference, like I said, either because it's going to blend in with the twist as long as you don't tangle your, your twist. Okay. So I'll do this one more time to show you guys. And this is a little bit more of a thicker and longer strand, so it'll be better, for example. And then I'm going to probably time lapse the rest because it's really taking me 
no time to finish this at this point. This is two packs of hair. That's basically half my head. And all I have right now is basically the top, which is probably like, probably like five, six strands. And I'm, I'm done, I'm done. So I might only just need two packs to be honest because I was doing triangles. So I will go ahead and show you guys one more time, do a time lapse, and then I'll show you guys the final result when I'm done. Give me two packs and subscribe. Also remember to stretch, stretch your twist down so it won't like if you keep it up, it feel, it's gonna like look like a big clump of braiding hair, your hair, and then the twist. So as long as you stretch it down, it's gonna come out even and beautiful. So pull it just a little bit. 